Ah, oh, no, you've got two minutes. Go, chop, chop. <laughs> what? Yeah. I'm kidding. What are we chop, chopping? Kicking the spells. Uh, I was kidding. Swapping out, swapping out the detect good and evil for protection from poison. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Be protected from poison. You squishy non todak thing. It's funny that you think I'm going to try I'm that not again. Squishy. I'm not. Uh, I'm not. All right. Let me make an ex- uh, explain something here. I know you could. You just I may that. realize that you. I'm. I may realize that you won't do that again. But I, I have to think of the character, and she definitely would change to that. Yeah. All right. Uh, that's... Turn you guys down a bit because you're peeking. Uh, that deep, uh... Try saying something slightly loud. Todek will eat your face. All right, I'm going to get you guys out of the red. Yeah, that should be good. Oh, whoops, that's not what I wanted. Okay, so. How do I... All right, stop playing your games. Focus on this. Yeah, I'm focusing. But, but my games. Actually, I don't. Uh, I do have it up. What is my character even doing? Ah, yes, sitting in a chair in the the SC house. We're fine. She's not doing anything. How do we have a chair? No, no, Uh, no. I, I, my, the game that you told me to stop playing. I wasn't actually playing it. Yeah, I'm live in it, but but I've been, right. I've been sitting in the same chair for the past hour and a half. Yeah. The second you said FC chair, it's like, yep, that's Final Fantasy. Yeah. Hide in plain sight is so silly. It'd be very, very handy, though. Stealth. Uh, stealth is one of the most powerful skills in the game. Perception's probably the only one that tops it in my book. Hmm. <laughs> and now Windows wants to update. Lovely. Ah, uh, Windows can go fuck itself. Exactly. All right, so what do you guys remember from the last session? Blood. <laughs> Fuck this place and all its contents. Crab rave. <laughs> crab rave! Yes, crab rave. Ugh. Okay. So yeah, you guys do remember that you were attacked by that. Do you remember anything else after that? Anything else that was kind of major made you kind of shit your pants a little bit? Um, Squid faces that are too numerous and too many for us to handle. Oh yeah, the March of the Mind Flayer. Yeah, no, that was not cool. Not cool, he says. Now, just to just to be clear, um, we also wandered into a new twisted area that is uh, almost like a sanctuary kind of thing. Well, you guys didn't wander into it, but Todak did check it out. <laughs> yeah. Right, right. Um, but overall, the... Oh, that's right. Atmosphere Light. and appearance of the uh, topography and whatnot. What exactly could you re describe it? Of the what area the... that you guys are currently in, like the main the main area? Well we stre- we stepped across a border into this twisted land and I'm curious as to lighting, not just the flora is all twisted, I know that, but is it 
is there no sun? Uh, um, as far as you can tell, no, there is no sun, but there is still light. It's how does... it's normal light condition, but you're not sure where exactly this light is coming from. Uh, with the, how dense the the flora is above you in most areas, you could assume that it's coming from the plants themselves. But as you get higher, if you were to climb it, it you wouldn't be able to find a light source. So we're underneath fully a, a, a pretty heavy canopy. Yes. Then. Okay. But you can still see the uh, epicenter of the area where the main tentacles are still plunging into it from a rift in the sky. Got to make sure that this is not going to ping. Okay. So there's light, but there's no sun. Now, yes. now am I a beacon of. Uh, what do you call it? You are not the brightest hey, thing out there. Here. Okay. Okay. I think I'm still going to be suppressing, but yeah, if you it's didn't, good to know. If you didn't, you were not. You would not be the brightest thing there. But people would still be able to notice you from a distance. Oh yeah. And Todak doesn't shine worth a damn. Nope. This money don't jiggle jiggle either, apparently. Nope. Yeah, you guys took your long rest here on this island. Todak would probably do a lot of recon on this island because there's probably something that will try to eat us somewhere. Probably. Did I not make it big enough? Apparently I did. I just didn't move it far enough down. Oh well. Uh, I don't know. I know that we're in the water. Yeah, no, I just realized there was a white gap down there for the base part of the uh, thing, and I didn't make the map big enough or pull it down all the way. All right, well, you can definitely go check it out. Uh... You want to go check out the island? Or if you want to just try to Maybe leave. Up to you. Well, no. Todex, like, we're spending the long rest here. Todex is going to spend an hour doing his little patrol around looking for whatever the fuck. And if there's nothing, then there's nothing. Okay. Then give me perception check. Where the fuck is it now? There we go. And perception. As you wander around this little island, for the most part, it seems pretty quiet, but you do see some... Well, you think are birds at first, but as you get closer, they look more like monkeys. And oh, maybe a Jesus. cross between the two. They I'm sorry, the Witch, Witch of the West is here somewhere? Uh, no, I was thinking more of a Bishatan. <laughs> I was thinking. <laughs> I think, I'm thinking more of the Bishatan. Okay. Because yeah. that is not the first thing that pops to my mind. Yeah, I know. They, uh, they're grabbing, uh, fruit out of the trees with their tails. They, they're very small as well. Like, they're the size of actual monkeys. They're not huge-ass things. And they stare at you, and they throw some fruit at you, but they don't really come after you. They don't, but they'll only throw the fruit at you if you get too close. Uh, if they're within range, I will try to do a mental link with one of them, and just Are let you them go. Have you, did you go with Joda? Oh, right. Sorry. Never mind. Yeah. No, I'm taking my my rest. Cleaning the blood off yeah. of my oh, oh my <laughs> yeah. yeah, Todak does not, not care. They do not look as edible as his own rations, so Yeah. And they don't seem to care about you if you don't get too close or try anything. But other than that, there doesn't seem time. to be anything on the uh on the island. 
Okay, then Todek is going to return to camp and get ready for a night of some rest. All right. Yep, that's how you do. That's how who do? Magic users. That's how you do when you get blood everywhere. Todek doesn't care. All right, uh, Teal, are you doing anything? Nope, just uh, probably just summoning my uh, fragment back. All right, so yeah, you do do you do get your familiar back, uh, with your when while well, you have that long rest, and as you guys rest here, everything seems rather peaceful. Like this area was creating a safe place for you guys to rest. But you're not sure. I'm not playing the, oh, this place is sentient enough to give us a play a, a safe spot. I'm not playing that game. This place sucks. All right. But as you awake, as you wake up and you do your morning preparations, the area starts to warp around you. Like, if you're looking away from the island, you still see water. But the second you look back... You're back in the forest. And you seem to be sitting in a puddle. Todak dislikes this place immensely. And surrounded, okay. by, surrounded by more trees than what you were before. And sorry, somebody said something. It'd be weird, hear. but... I just said I agree. Uh, she's... Okay, well, not much for us to do other than to just keep on going. Adele snaps her fingers a couple times to dry everyone off, except for Todak. Especially except Todak. Alright. But yeah, you guys are clearly not in the same area you had been before. Again, you're surrounded by more of those weird trees and before. You're not even in so much of a clearing as you are in a little tiny patch of area. I'd say it's about no. 20 feet wide. <clears throat> okay. Well, Todak still not pleased. I assume we make for the middle still, yes? Yes. Uh, yeah. Um, I think so. All right, well. Give me a survival. All right. Uh, do we want to make any checks as we go? Can I make a perception as we walk? This is still a favorite terrain, so I think I get a plus two. And I can help with advantage. All right, yeah, then... I'll take advantage because I do not get the numerical plus two. I just get all this other crap. So go ahead and do it. Fifteen. Good... It's you're not you. You feel a bit lost at first when you start wandering through. Like I don't know where the hell we are, but as you start to uh, move around, and you know you gauge from where you are on the ground, looking up at the sky, just trying to balance everything, you do manage to start making your way back towards the center. And as you get close, you get back on a path. And you can see from where you guys are now, the main tentacles that are currently uh, attached to the ground. And inside the center of those is a... What looks to be a pool of water from here. Charming. But you can't see anything else. And it's about noon now. Okay. Thanks for the look, Saber. 
Okay, we walked some hours today, and we walked several hours yesterday, right? Yep. And you said before that this uh, area was basically like, uh, from one end to another, was supposed to be uh, 20 miles long. However, I think we probably have traveled longer than that, so we're in, the space we're in is larger Bad than it should be. Bad boy, how's it going? Someone's catching on. Todek is smart, but not that kind of smart. Factoring in the rounded, yeah. All right, well, it's lunchtime, and you guys are near the center. Damn it. What I had myself muted. Okay, what are you saying? I was going to say that, um, it may be that we've traveled longer than we uh, than we think. But also keep in mind that I, the way I was looking at it is we are doing a lot of twists, turns, double backs. We're in, uh, you said we are in um, a heavy canopy above, which means that there's going to be a lot of forest, which is going to slow progress. Unless Todek has a skill that can get us all through at a full. Um, let's see here. I that's part of his... Uh... Yeah, Favorite natural explorer. Stuff? Yeah. Yeah. Difficult terrain doesn't slow your group's travel. Your group cannot become lost except by magical means. Even when you're engaged in another activity while traveling, you remain alert to danger. If you're traveling alone, move stealthy at a normal pace. Very nice. When you forage, you find twice as much food. And while tracking other creatures, you also learn their exact number, size, and how long ago they passed through the area. Rangers are badass. I guess. Yep. So, can I determine that we have, in fact, made any progress? Oh, yeah, you absolutely have made quite a bit of progress. You can even tell that you were quite a distance away from uh, where you guys had taken uh, taken your little nap. Still don't like it. All right, you should still be on here. Don't click the button. So, when the area shifted to put us away from the island to back in this forest, did everything change in an instant while we blinked, or was it like, oh, oh, all these trees just came back? It was, let's see, the best way to describe it is, you know when you, like in certain TV shows, where somebody looks away, they still see everything in the direction they're looking, or even like in a procedurally generated game, like certain horror games. But then you turn around, and what was behind you is no longer behind you. And then you turn around again and be like, what the fuck? I've got to go, oh no, that's all changed now too. Great. Okay. Yeah. That's, that sounds mighty familiar. All right. Yeah. Like the labyrinth. Rexham did not take anything from you. Uh-huh. Remember, sure thing, buddy. remember, I did it first in the in the session. You did your oh, bit. Oh, <laughs> fuck you. You did it first. Yeah. I, did I first. don't give a horse's broken left leg or testicle that you think you did it first. I meant out of our two, out of our two games. Anyway. <laughs> now, now. <laughs> so... Okay, so we've made progress. We're going to keep moving, obviously. Todak is going to watch the trees. You know what? He's actually going to do a thing. He's going to walk up to one of the trees, hop, and make a slash across one of the trees. What happens? Uh, Well, what kind of tree are you doing? Does it the one with the ears, the eyes, the mouths? No, definitely not one with the mouths. <laughs> <laughs> well, you do that. Uh, Well, again, ears or eyes? Yeah. Let's go for ears. Fuck it, no, eyes. Todek doesn't like being watched. Well, you slash one of them and give me a perception. Just Tim or everybody? Just, just Tim. There we go. That's a Todek roll. Yeah, you slash at it and it the tree starts to actually bleed, basically. And you start to feel like if 
every tree could look at you, it would be. Fucking let and it. And you feel it on you. Fucking let it. That screams of the Feywild. Kind of does. Though the uh, eyeballs and all that good stuff is definitely not the Feywild. I have an idea. Is it a uh, terrible idea? I don't know. I just slashed a tree with eyeballs, so <laughs> can't yes. get much worse. I look over to the tree and cast detect thoughts. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> that was a bad idea. Uh, okay, let's read this here. Uh, what's the languages that you know? I. Oh. <laughs> You have no idea what they're saying. Uh, actually, let me just read over this again, make sure if you have to understand them or not. Okay, so the surface thoughts of the creature. So again, you have no idea what they're saying, but the feeling you get from the surface thoughts is Codex going to die. <laughs> I'll try to repeat whatever words they're uh, gibberish or making, see if the other members of my party know the language, and then uh, I repeat the again, the basically the emotion that I get. <laughs> Alright, can you guys post your languages? I could look, but I'm I feel was, lazy. I, I will try mind link then. I don't need a language so long as they understand a language, so long as they have a language. All right. Uh, Todak, what are your languages before I continue on? Fuck all and all. Common, Grung, Goblin, and Sylvan. Okay. Yeah, I have Common, Deep Speech, Halfling, and Quarry. Yeah, okay. So none of you can speak it, but since you use MindLink, Dusk, you can, uh, from what you get from them is... Kill the frog, 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 kill the frog. Parlay. Did you just say parlay? Fan fancy yep. using the fancy words. They don't seem to respond. They're just like kill the frog, kill the frog, kill the frog, kill the frog, kill the frog. I will healing word the tree trunk that he just slashed. Okay, you do that, and the uh, the wound on the tree does heal. And the thoughts go between kill the frog and humanoid good. So it's uh, kill the I frog, humanoid explain... good. Kill the frog, humanoid good. I will explain to the tree trunk that we are new to this forest and unaccustomed to forests that have sentience and will. And that we apologize. All of us. I, I am so glad you don't tell Todek what you say half the time. <laughs> All the yeah, eyes start to shift yeah, towards shift towards you easy. instead of Todak. And you get the response back, don't care, kill the frog. Can try. Uh, Todak. <laughs> what? It would appear the forest has a consciousness and that it shares what? the consciousness with the entire forest. I am the Lorax. I speak for the trees and some fucking <laughs> reason they want to kill a frog. <laughs> uh, that being said, they did not take kindly to you slashing them uh, and now seem to have decided that you are 
their enemy. So <laughs> roll me a perception, everybody. Hilk, you kind of notice this, but uh, Dusk and Todak, you guys notice this the most, and the air starts to feel incredibly dry, like you guys just walked into a desert. Oh, Todak doesn't at, know. Yeah, Todak attempts to keep both of his eyes open to see exactly what happens. Okay. The trees start to become wet. Ew. The trees are getting moist. Uh, can I make an arcana check to see if they're casting that one spell that sucks up uh, moisture? What's the name of that spell again? Something horde wil wilting, I think. Horde wilting. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, horrid wilting. Okay, let's see. Would seem that they also have uh, are, are a lot smarter than rawr, rawr, I would have expected. Rawr, rawr. I think they're trying to dry you out. Hey, sad boy. Thanks for the follow. Okay, man. Um. Well, you can't tell if they're casting a spell or not. I could probably tell you the fucks I give. Very little. Hell, I probably count them on one hand. Don't even need to raise a half finger. <laughs> well, you can tell that it is getting incredibly dry. And it's starting to get harder to blink. Getting harder to blink? Yes, your eyes are drying up. Um, I don't know how to fix this. Did we not take create water this time? I did, but it won't do a lot of good without... Um, if I've got to redo it, if I've got to keep doing this every couple of feet, I mean, you guys could just walk. <laughs> yeah, no, Dodak's done with this. Uh, until otherwise stated, he's just going to keep hopping mad and away. All right. So are you actually going to use that spell? Doesn't, didn't we create a bag for him to sit I'm in? I'm not sitting in a... Wait, hold on. Did we actually? Like a little fucking pouch pool? I don't remember that. Yeah. Oh, we I have a barrel! So. Do we? I have a barrel. Hold on a second here. I thought that was onto Karen. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I had the barrel. I remember yeah, being talked about, it. but I don't think it ever actually came to fruition. No, I don't think it did. Yeah. Because we were going to, like, soak Todak in it and then fucking carry use it as around. a poison base. And carry him around, Wait, too, but... One second, I have an idea. I guess we could always just chop down the trees to make a new barrel. That's that assuming that they're made it of actual wood and you can dry it out. Right now, the trees are moist. Toda, come here. I have an idea. Oh, so it'll be good. Just uh, follow my lead if you're uh, all right with that. And then put my hand on your head and just slowly push you down onto the ground. And then... Okay. And then... At which point your uh, chest explodes. <laughs> I I cast a major image to have basically Toex, uh looks like his chest just exploded. All right. The moisture in the uh, area starts to return. And then I just wipe, uh, swoosh my hand from him as if uh, making it disappear completely. Invisible. So now you're invisible. This is literally just so that the forest won't kill us. I think yeah. I'm dead. Well, well that's a slight inconvenience to you, if anything. There we go. He's dead the now. The forest won't kill you. 
They gotta get a fucking awake earlier in the morning to try to kill the Todak. There, there. But the the, uh, Todak, the Todak's dead now. Todak just starts hopping away. I think All I right, then. Apologies, trees. Uh, let's be on our way, then. Todak will shit on the trees. They would like that. Yeah, the trees. Probably. Actually, shit on the tree wouldn't do it any good, but shit on the roots. Well, I mean, the shit would fall. They're moist enough that it would just slip off. I keep hearing that word and it gets worse and worse. <laughs> I know, because everybody hates it. I'm just like, it's just a word. It's not that bad. <laughs> Like I don't like I I kind of understand why people hate the word, but I'm just like it's it's just a word. Hey, Lunar, Work how's it going? Word. Moist. Okay. People hate it. Oh, is that something new? Not hey, I'm old. I'm not, no, I'm no, not. people have hated moist. As, far as I'm concerned, the first the first thing that comes to mind when somebody says moist is cake. Yeah. So moist. Okay, shut That's the fuck up and tell a story. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, that really got out of your nerves. Eh? <laughs> you really hate that. All right. <laughs> so you guys are walking down. You're getting closer towards the center. And as you get close, you start to see a figure near the center of it. Uh, can I make a? Can we make possible perception check to see if we can tell what's at the center? Well, who is at the center? At this distance, not yet. It is starting to get uh, later in the night, and you have the chance now to sleep or to just move in. Um, night or day doesn't really make a difference to me. I didn't really use much uh, in ways of spells, so. Going now wouldn't be too much of an issue for me. Mm -hmm. They're all going to die in there. All right. <clears throat> you guys start to push in. And as you walk in and get closer, the area does again change once more. And now you can do your perception checks to uh, to take a look. I'll throw you guys on the map. I mean, 12 works for me because just some guy over there. Yeah. There's that. There's the Todaki. That's the wrong one. But I'll just leave it on the map because we're going to use it anyways. You think. Don't you be making no assumptions about what I do. I know exactly what's going to happen. Doubt. And I didn't mean to do that. All 20 is being really, really weird today. I guess literally, there we go. Just fucking froze on me. I was working on this thing earlier. I wasn't having these issues. All right, so yeah, you guys are going to be down over this way. Let's take a look at those perceptions. Uh, yeah. Todak, you're the only one that can get a good look at its features. You can tell if you even care to remember. But that is your old acquaintance from back when you were fighting those hags. Haggith. Hey. That's that old human fuck from the farm. Lovely. Shoot it. Was he also the thing we saw go into? The, yeah, I can describe it as also the thing we, the guy we saw go into the uh, 
into the portal that we opened up into hell. Yep. Uh, well, we can shoot him, but I don't know if we need to discuss things with him. How are we going to make sure he stays dead this time? Eat him. Fire. Huh? Technically, both work. <laughs> All right. You guys are free okay. to approach him then. Todak's still invisible, right? Uh, Up to an hour, no. Okay. Then Todak's going to attempt a stealth. A straight shot? Uh, yeah, I mean, there is... Uh... Actually, no, yeah, there's no moisture in that part of the area. So, yeah, it's just a straight shot. Yeah, I mean, Todak's going to make a stealth yeah. then, if that's okay. Okay, go ahead. Can I have guidance? Sure, you have guidance. Ah, oh, then do the D4. And just roll the D4. 25. Five. And I can move at normal speed while stealthy. Okay. Alright. I, 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 I will just let you guys know that each square is 15 feet. Fifteen feet? Oh, so we're fucking we're like still, still a mile off. Here. Yeah, he's he's quite a ways we're, we're off. About, just, just under six hundred feet. So yeah, I mean I could still hit him from here. He's so that's six, to... Sorry, each one of these squares is still fifteen feet. Does it actually map that? It does too. Yes, it so does. I'm only going I'm only going here. I mean you could double movement. Well, it's a matter of watching what the rest of the crew does, but Totek is moving into a flanking position like he usually does. Yeah. But again, you guys are free to approach him. Uh, all right, well, let's, let's just kill the bastard. Just kill the bastard. Don't even want to say hi, how's it going, how the fuck are you still alive? Because I'm pretty sure we cut your um, head off. Just just kill the bastard. We didn't actually. He got away. Giving the no, bad he, guy his head an was opportunity cut off. to monologue. <laughs> like his head was yeah. clean off at the end of uh, at the end of that battle. Oh, that's right. Todak killed him. I took his teeth. You did. You have your trophy bag on you? I do. Okay. Eh, Why? Uh, Adele will start just floating on over. Adele a part, doesn't have any reason to be concerned with this creature. Todak just wants him dead. Yeah, I mean, but... I probably received the report of what he did, so... Oh, yeah, absolutely. Still, if we can get monologuing, we can figure out what he's doing and possibly how to stop it. <laughs> you sly dog, you got me monologuing. Yeah, we're going to do one of those. Yeah, I'm going to take out my uh, waterproof notebook, some uh, ink and a pen, and just start flying on over. Okay. I'm guessing you're not being stealthy about it. I mean, I'm sort of hovering over there, but eh. I'll be somewhat stealthy, just try not to make any noise. And what about you, Dusk? Are you going to be following uh, Tilk? I'm following Tilk, yeah. Okay. And Todek is going to maintain his flanking position. All right. So yeah, you can move in. And uh, yeah, just move you guys. Uh, move you guys where you guys want to get to. I'll tell so you. You want us to move as if we're like still an in initiative steal? I'd say move your guys yourselves as if you're uh, moving four times your speed. And I'll tell you when you can stop. I'd wait for the others, just because, you know, they're not moving. Mm -hmm. Again, you can move four times your uh, speed currently. Uh, I didn't say stop. I did... Uh, I should do this. Uh, 
All right. Good. I haven't said stop. All right. Right about there. As you guys get to there, the man turns and looks at uh, Dusk and Teal and raises an eyebrow and says, Well, where's your frog friend in that? I don't even know what to call her. I guess her name was Auntie Karen. Oh, yes. Uh, she's uh, looks up to this guy. Probably somewhere in there. I don't think you know where that is, but... I don't. Well, I think I've been there. It's been a while. By the way, uh, while I have you talking, could you explain exactly what's going on here? A new world. A world for my god. And just like that, Todak wants the god's head. Could you be more specific? This is a world that fits creatures like him. And those of his kin, like the Mind Flayers that you saw earlier. So why in the world would you want such a god here? Because he is my god. And he needs to expand. Or, or he doesn't. Yes, yes, finesse and all that. After all, he has given me second life. Uh-huh. Yes, the report said that you were decapitated, but I seem that uh, it seems that that did not take. When a god is on your side, it doesn't really matter if you lose your head. That's not true. <laughs> <laughs> well, it apparently true. is. <laughs> I believe he's a uh, living proof that it is true. Kind of, yeah. <laughs> no, he's just a puppet. He's dead. I'm dead. Oh, I can tell you I am very much alive. You can even come and check. I promise <clears throat> I won't bite. May I? Absolutely. He holds his, um, his hands open and he doesn't do anything. While this is going on, I'm going to use some things, if that's okay. Okay, go ahead. Um, I'm going to use my... I'm going to use the Hunter Sense. Remember that one? Go ahead and post it. And as long as it doesn't use a somatic component, you won't uh, lose your stealth. Oh, I have to be within 60 feet. I don't think I'm within 60 feet. I think I'm... I'm actually going to have to get closer. So bef There then, we go. Right at the right at the edge of bow range. There we go. So no, I can't use it. Hey. All right. You have a short bow? I have a long bow. I thought they were only 100 foot. No. Um I think it's 120. It. It's 120 for short range. It's 600 for long range. Well, wow. I don't need any modifiers to me for shooting, so I'm just going to... Uh, 150 for short range. 150 short range. Excellent. Also, if you're a sharpshooter, then you're more or less 600 all the time without uh, needing penalties. Oh, well yeah. then fuck it. I can uh, hit him from wherever the fuck I please. But I have to be within 60 feet to make my abilities work, so I'm going to hold off for now. Okay. Yep, and as I get closer to him, should I make a Arcana or Investigation check on him to see exactly what's up with him? I mean, are you able to feel things? Like, are, would you be able to check for a pulse, etc.? Is that a thing that you could do as Teal'c? Probably. And give me a medicine check. No. Well, you look him over. You check a pulse. He has a pulse. Hmm. You definitely still have a heart that's beating. He feels warm to the touch like a living person would. If I can, I'd uh, get my uh, hand like near his neck, just like sort of like see if I can find a scar of some sort. There is a scar that looks like it has been healed. It was a jagged scar. 
Hmm, interesting. I'm just writing this all down. Yep. Does that please you? <laughs> Wouldn't you like to know? No. Yeah, satisfies a curiosity. As you can see, I am quite alive. Jodak's just waiting for whatever passes for a signal amongst our misbegotten ilk. Now, if you please turn around and leave and wait for the inevitable assimilation, that would be so kind. You know that can't happen. I think it can. I mean, it is, yes, so it is possible. Oh, I'm going to coat my arrows. That's what I'll do. Yeah. You know that we can't allow that to happen. Of course you could. You could just turn around and walk away. Yeah. That's no. the problem with people that are uh, tied to hmm, what's the word I'm looking for? Devotion? Stupidity? You can't you yes, I do I would definitely agree. Everything you're doing is stupid. Ah, burn. <laughs> you are not any. Uh, you are not unlike me. You are to hide to your god, and must do whatever your god says. And I am tied to mine, and must do what my god says. I must not do anything. I do it because it is what must be done. Right, because your god told you. This or you're making sick. really huge assumptions. I know exactly what my god wants. I know exactly <laughs> what must be done for this world. Uh huh. And if you will Explain not leave, then I will make you leave. Explain it to me, please. Heard. What exactly is a world full of those squid faces going to look like? A lot better than it does now. Like a culinary buffet. And go ahead and roll initiative. I get advantage on initiative. Where do I? You rolled and. Oh, that was the part of the roll there. All right. Well, I'll still take the 23.2. Thank you very much. Yeah, let me edit it. I'm pretty sure the whole party gets a. Evangelon initiative. Sure that I didn't put myself on okay, cat good. So I was about to say, how the hell did you roll a twenty two point four with a natural twenty, but a twenty four without it being a natural twenty, but I just realized that's your fragment. Yep. Yay. All right, go ahead. Oh, it's my turn? Uh, I yeah. A, I have a very dumb idea, but I'm going to do it anyways. I'm going to cast Polymorph, uh, Polymorph at level 4, and try to turn Haggith into a fish. Okay. Small Is fish. It are we talking like a lungfish? Because I don't think you can turn it into something that will die if it's out of the area, right? I can. Yeah. Yeah, you can turn it into it's whatever just... you want. If okay. it dies, then it runs out of hit points and turns back to what it's supposed to, what it was originally. So yeah, it's... this is a what save is it? Wisdom <clears> save. <throat> yes. Wisdom save. Okay. Well, he yeah, has... He's probably a. He passes. Well, darn. <laughs> All right. Anything else? Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to stand there. Make my turn. 
right, Todak. Uh, Todak is going to take a shot. Uh, he is also going to use his hunter's mark. Wait, wait, wait. Sorry, can I uh, do one more thing instead? Sorry. Uh, I think at this point it might be a little bit too late. Curses. Well, I haven't done anything yet, so it's up to the DM at that point. This one time I will allow it. Okay, silvery barbs. I'm an idiot. I forgot this. All right. Uh, he turns into a fish. Wait. Is oh, that yeah. a cantrip? Uh, it's, it's a, a level reaction. It, uh, but it's a, it's a reaction at level one. So, yeah, I don't okay. think you can do it. To, can, then can you? I can. <laughs> I mean, you get a reaction every turn. Just It's a reaction, so you can do it until your next turn. Yeah, the rules are basically bonus action and main action. It uh, doesn't matter about a uh, reaction. Oh. Yeah, I guess that's right. He turns into a fish. You know, I take out a jar. Oh, God. I try to scoop up the fish into the jar. I guess that would be bonus action, or if I can't do that on my, uh, you would not... use my action. Yeah, you wouldn't be able to do that. That would be an action. Okay, uh, that's fine. Then, uh, Todak, your turn. Uh, don't kill us for right now. Uh, I have plans. Todak puts down his bow, and unknocks his arrow. He's like, that was anticlimactic. Well, I now need <clears throat> to find a fish. You don't need to find a fish. It's you probably really that one hit don't. point. Uh, so, like, last, so it hold can on last a second. Out of here. water for about uh, probably a, a minute or two. I'm pretty sure Xanathar's pet fish is a uh, step lock. There's also the quipper. <sighs> I'm not going to lie. I mean, so what happens if I kill this fish? Does it just turn back into Haggif? Yeah. Yes. Yep. Uh, if you can remember the We're Gods scene, any residual damage would then go to him. Yeah. He only has one HP, though. So, if I were to take all of the buffs, light up the shot, mark it with both my Hunter's Sense and my pre <coughs> my Monster Hunter's Sense, and fire Lightning Arrow into him with Sharpshooter. Big damage. Yeah. But it does um, count as being prone uh, yeah. right now. So why yeah. are we not killing this thing? Well, I can either drop him from the uh, sky, or I can bury him 100 feet underground. You do either of those things. Todak would like to see. All I can think now is airdropping a kraken, but instead of a kraken, it's just a harmless fish. <laughs> Literally, we're gods. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> you would have to... But according to this, the spell's only good for an hour, or it's concentration up to an hour. Concentration up to concentration an hour. up to an hour. Yeah. So after an hour, we're gonna have an angry, fishy smelling haggif just in a jar. Like I said, unless we throw him from several hundred feet in the air. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the only one that can make that kind of speed inside of an hour is probably going to be dusk. Pretty sure Teal could do. Yeah. Uh, um, max damage is twenty d six. That's one uh, d six per uh, per ten feet. So. I know some people try to ignore it, but up. terminal velocity is a thing. So after a certain point, yeah, the max damage does make sense. Yep. Fine with me. I mean, if you want, you can uh, cast uh, create water onto my jar in order to give it water, so he has a full hour. Um, yeah, I can do that. Actually, I have a water skin, so I can just use that. Alright, I guess, yeah, for now we're out of initiative, then. <laughs> How did we just... It's ridiculous. I tap on the glass. Wow. <laughs> Pretty fishy. Alright. Do what you gotta do. Well, no, I mean, first things first. Um, let's discuss this for a minute. He, 
isn't dead, but we still don't really know how to fix the damage he's already caused. <clears throat> nope. Not unless we kill his god. <gasps> the realization. Kodak's like, we get to kill a god. We get to kill a god. I mean, we have to find it first. They're also assuming that he would know how to fix it, too, so. Yes, and, uh, well, we can always, well, when it comes to dealing with him, let's try to think of that first. Uh, should we, again, drop him from the sky, or should I bury him uh, several hundred feet underground? Well, if he did, feel... he is a, a mage, I believe, so he might have Dimension Door, so he might be able to, hmm. Once he reverts back to his uh, original form, well, the crushing would probably be painful, but if he can say at least one word, he can dimension door out. Um, well, can't say any words if there's no air. But I don't know the nature of that spell, so I don't know if that would stop him or not. I guess... Should I make a AR contract to see if I know if he would, uh, you have, if he would, you would not be able to do that now. Oh, he won't be able to tell a dimension door out if I seal him underground. Yeah. You would have no idea if he'd be able to do that or not. Oh, well, he may not be, know, be able to know if he can do it, but he might be able to know the limitations of the spell under normal conditions. Under normal conditions, you wouldn't even need to do an arcana check. Well, no, he would if he needs to know how the, the spell manifests. Like, I, for one, don't know if it's verbal, somatic, or material. Yeah, I technically, I, I technically know to Dimension Door, so... Yeah. Well, at least the weird version of it call uh, with my Call Idol on ability. Well, then go ahead. Go ahead and give me an Arcana. No. Hey, you're not sure. Hmm. All right. I have another idea. I, uh, I kind of caused this with a elbow drop from a metal golem. We could always end this with a elbow drop with a metal golem. Where the fuck are you gonna find war. a metal golem? <laughs> I can summon it like I did last time. Or you can have your metal golem sitting by, ready to, to elbow drop him once he hits the floor. I can fly him up and drop him from up there. Yes, but I can summon the metal golem mom 200 feet up in the air and just ha have them both falling down at once. Save the metal golem. We don't know what else we're going to run into here. I don't know. Hmm. Use all your spells. It's only one spell. It should be fine. <sighs> well, I'm not going to tell you how to use your skills. Do what you're going to do. It's just a matter of who's going to start the flying now, because I don't know how long it'll take you to get to terminal velocity height. Well, if I dash, I can feet. move 80 feet in the air, so that'd be basically be two and a half turns. Okay, so that's still within the hour. Todek's going to fucking get ready to just fire at wherever the landing point is and when he sees the human haggif. Even after the power elbow drop. Then are we all um, are we all right with this uh, plan of action? Are we all right with it? Probably sure. not. Are we going to do it? Yes. All right. All right, then. I'm going to fly up uh, Haggif 200 feet in the air. I'm going to then summon uh, a metal golem with summon construct. So, hold on. We drop the bottle. We drop the golem on top of him. No, no, no. The golem is holding the bottle. <laughs> oh. Okay, cool. So, Seismic tossing his ass into hell. <laughs> yeah, so the idea would be basically... 200-foot tall uh, pile drive. It basically, I think it's 26 for falling damage, and then 26 for a metal construct falling on him. Yep. That, that sounds appropriate. 
appropriately fucked up. Yep. But I approve. Uh I'm sorry. Do you have You're not. do you have the ornate stone in the metal lockbox to be able to summon it? Yes. Oh, oh god. Okay. It's an ornate chest. <laughs> this is amazing and I love it, but I hate both of you. All right. This is so fun. I'm so, so sorry. The metal golem takes it. And starts right, to fall. Yep, thermal velocity. Uh, I'm not going to do it Seismic toss! <laughs> you know, it's D6, right? Not D8? Pretty sure it's D6. Let me just look it up. Uh, let's see. Yeah, 1D6 per... Yeah. Yep, it's 1D6 for 10 feet of falling. Up to, I guess, uh, 20D6. And they, I don't know, I guess crit falling damage because he's then getting hit with a uh, stone construct. Yeah, that's why I'm just rolling it all at once. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> he's going to have such a bad story to tell his god when he meets him. How did you die, my great and powerful servant? I got piled drive uh, by a construct. After turning into a fish. <laughs> I wasn't uh... going to say that part. <laughs> You think that's how that's gonna go? Oh my god. <laughs> His soul's gonna get eaten. Well, everybody that's on the ground. Hello. Uh Teal'c, are you staying up in the air? I'm flying down slowly, though he uh I think I believe he falls at one hundred feet a turn, so I'm going to move down so I'm a hundred feet in the air. So this yeah, is gonna be like the uh, absolute most beautiful splat. You get Partway down before he splats to the ground. Uh, you can... Uh, those that are on the ground that might be close by can hear a the glass shattering, the sound of bones crunching, and the large thud of a metal golem and blood just seeping out. Best. Kill to date. Oh god, we need a kill of the week. <laughs> That's it. And I'm guessing the golem would the golem take any any of that damage? I assume all of it. Wait, no. Uh a bludgeoning resist? Yes. He does, he has a he has no resistances, so he takes all the damage and dies. Well he would only take uh half of that, so why? Half would still kill him. I think he only has uh he has fifty five HP. And half He's... because he only takes the twenty instead of the forty. Oh, so he only takes twenty? Well no, he takes twenty D six instead of forty D six. So it would be half. Alright, then you want me to roll twenty D six for him? Uh I'll I'll do that one since it is the DMs. He's probably dead, because I don't think he has any resistance. Yeah, he's dead. 11 over. He's The metal golem does dissipate, and you see underneath a twitch, the twitching body of a crushed haggif. Blood and guts spewn everywhere. Is he alive? Todak just wanders over. As he won, as you wander over, fire. Uh, fire. Todek, an eye looks at you, and he—you just hear this gurgling laugh. <laughs> cool. Todek takes out one of his many oil flasks and starts dumping it out all over the body, oh. and then pulls out his flint and tinder. As you dump the I'll oil on the body. Before you even get a chance to do that, the body stops twitching. And he looks lifeless. I don't care. We're burning it anyway. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead and light it. Yeah, no, Todak just goes ham light. with the uh, fire. All you right. hear from the sky, Is he dead? If so, move away! 
steps. And Todek starts his little I mean, fucking if bonfire not. and then walks away. All right. You start the fire and you hear the crackling and the wretched smell of burning flesh. Only wretched to everyone but Todek. Just so to try to move by first. And before you even have prayer. a chance to move too far away, what's left of the body that wasn't completely crushed, so part of the head and chest, explodes it's with viscera, to... sending the fire yeah. everywhere. Well, so much energy to put it out, too. Well, I mean, it's Anything oil, that catches. So... Yeah, I can still snuff it. Oh, yeah, you can snuff it out. And there's this little Just to keep it fist-sized thing that starts to bubble and float in the air before rapidly expanding and moving away. Banish. No, I don't have it. So um, <laughs> band <laughs> hammer. No, I was like, but I don't have it memorized, but I was like, I should, <laughs> banishment would have been perfect for this. <laughs> right. It lands in the ground. Uh, here. About 255 feet away, north, uh, slightly northwest. How fast is it moving? It was like a lightning bolt fast. Okay. And the ground starts to tear itself up. I'm going to put an arrow into it as it's floating away. Oh, I don't think you're going to have a chance because it was, like again, like a lightning bolt, so that kind of speed. Uh, yeah, I mean... Which way did it go? Like I said, it went that away. And it was instant. It was like a lightning bolt shot out. Did it, it was, stop or is it still going? It landed in the ground, in the ground. And now the earth is rising up as, a, as uh, you see destruction. And a mountain starts to form. Small mountain. Less neat. Definitely less neat. You see smoke start to billow out of it as it seems to grow legs and pull itself from the ground. The fuck kind of things are planted here? I can... St uh, um... Whoopsie. At this point, I'm going to summon Xerxix. That was the wrong layer I was on. <laughs> there we go. And it... this is what pops out of the uh, out of the ground. I don't know if you guys can see it because it didn't pop up for me. It's at the top left corner. Did it shift? The control Z does not seem to want to work for me. I can see it, but it's on the map. It's not it's not a control shift, it's on the map. Yeah, I know, but can I believe control shift was supposed to make it big for you guys, but it's not working. It's not a it's not control, control Z. shift, control Z. But it just deselects it. Actually, I think I've been undoing everything. Yeah, it's it's. Yeah, you're undoing everything. Then shift the maybe. No, I tried that too. Oh, there we go. Maybe it's different on Firefox. All right, we just got to pull Todak back on. Todak. And me. No. Oh. Todek what? Our tokens got erased. And, well... Todek yeah, Todek got, got fucking nuked. No, Where's Todek just got moved. I moved you back over. I don't remember exactly where you were, but... Thank you. But yes, this absolutely massive... thing rises from the ground. You hear from the sky. Think we do the same thing as last time? Drop him on it! 
And roll initiative. You're just doing this because we killed your big bad evil guy. Uh, actually, no. That was big bad evil guy's under underling. You literally just crushed a host. A puppet, <sighs> as one might say. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I kind of... Yeah, it's it's the proverbial um, Hellboy moment. We just killed uh, Stramanov, uh, whatever, whatever his name is there. The wizard. We killed Pickle Dick. Rasputin. Rasputin. Romanov, yes. Pickle Dick. All right. Remember, take into account the range of everything here. I mean, even at 15 feet extra, if I was shooting at the edge of this bitch, it's 90 feet away from me. I can hit this thing from fucking orbit. Oh, you could, yeah. But again, just take into account this thing's 110 feet friggin' across. Or 210, sorry. This thing's fucking massive. Well, Toadnex got poisoned arrows and a fucking whole lot of pension for murder. Let's see what happens. All right. It's your turn, Toadnex. Yeah. All right. These are poisoned arrows. I'm hitting him with Hunter's Mark. <clears throat> I'm going to attempt Sharpshooter because it hasn't acted. I have a, a uh, I have uh, advantage on the first attack. <sighs> yep. Not that I fucking need it. Well, you do hit. And Hunter's Mark criticals are just 1d6. Uh, I believe everything doubles, so... Anything with a dice doubles. Yeah. There you go. So... Probably not 37. the... Uh, probably not the DC for the poison, but... No, the DC doesn't double. <laughs> okay. Um... I guess the mountain needs to make a fortitude save against Todak. So that's a con save. All right. Unless it's a charisma save. 21. Fuck you. Poison, so it's a con save. Anything else for you, Todak? I'm probably going to take a couple hop, skip, and a fuck-offs in a different direction. All right. Go ahead and move. I think I can only move three. Two squares. If your speed's okay. only 30, then you can move two squares. Great. That's what How I How far do away are you? I am now 100 and change. Okay, you're too far away from me. No, from you, he's only 45 feet. How far were you? Uh, uh, two more squares closer to it. So, 60 feet he was. Okay. All right, then Zerzix. All right. At the beginning of Zerzix's turn, it I'm is... going to use. Actually, no, I'm going to hold my hold that. Uh, I still don't know what's going on yet. So, how do you not see Mountain McFuck off? I I don't know what Mountain McFuck off is going to do. Well. He just got a fucking stick in the nose, so there's a very short All list. Right. Um, I will do that for Zerzix then. I will give him, uh, uh, at the start of his turn, I will move him 60, uh, his movement speed. Sadly, I was 100 feet above you, so I'm not within 60 feet. Oh, oh it's not you, it's your buddy. I think that they, ch I think that buddy transforms They're... in that. Oh, oh right, we fuse right, right. together. So, yeah, I'm going to fly down good. sixty feet, uh, forty feet, so I'm within range now. But I think that's too late. Yeah, beginning of the turn, so it's too late. Uh, one second. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to uh, 
Okay, I'm going to hold action to cast a spell when the mound's within 120 feet. Okay. With that, I end my turn. Then 120 feet? Yep, so I'm... Uh, it more or less has to move one square. Yeah. All right, it is its turn. And yeah, it's going to it's going to move up. Let me double check its speed. It moves one square. That's pretty much all I can do. It's a slow. As he moves one square, Bigby's hand. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to summon uh, the hand. Uh, let's see. Concentration up to a minute. And since I summoned him, I can have him attack. Okay, so I don't think he can attack right there. Sorry, I might be closer to... Yeah, there you go. Basically right there. I'm sorry, what the fuck is that floppy bunny looking thing? That's Master oh, hand, hand from that's Master Hand, man. Sorry, I was still zoomed out. It looked like a floppy bunny. Or is that I guess that's Crazy Hand, actually. Yep. The sinister Mr. Fister. Super Smash Bros. Alright. Uh it goes to punch and it hits its exoskeleton and can't tell what happened. Hmm. D worrying. Oh well. All right. Well, that. Let's see here. So it's going to come from its center. Guess the only ones within range are Zerzix and Todak. You're both gonna wanna give me a deck save. Gonna wanna or should? You're gonna have to. There we go. Hey. Sad. Oops, that's the wrong tab. Wow. Todak. What? <laughs> wow. The least amount of damage. Okay. So you've got our deck saves. Yeah. And I accidentally posted that to GM. There we go. I can see why I was saying wow. I was expecting a bit more out of that. Uh, do I take half? You do take half. As this molten orange thick goo shoots out from this thing and covers both of you and dissipates quickly with little beads falling to the ground. And does it get it back? Let's find out. It does not get it back. Good. Why are you rolling a con save? Oh, right, concentration. And I fail. Goodbye, hand. <laughs> All right. Ugh. Then it's the fragment's turn. The fragment that's been invisible this entire time just gives a peace sign and fades away into non-existence. So it's gone from uh, initiative? Yeah. Dusk. See what you can do. 
he is going to move back 30 feet and fire a bow. That's your radiant this bow? This is not, yes. This is Ooh. not a um, undead fey or fiend, correct? Uh, as far as you can tell, you have no idea. I mean, you probably figure it's not undead. Uh, I'm asking for, because I have a different button. Depending. No, it's not. Okay. I need to hit. You fire the bow, and it seems to shatter when it hits its exoskeleton. Did I even do anything when I shot it with my stick? Uh, you did. You actually hit it. And your weapon counts as magical, too, I believe, so. It does. So does mine. Oh, yeah, I know yours does. Bad damage, though. Uh, yeah, that's it. That, I just had to confirm one thing. That's your turn, Todak. Cute. Todak is probably going to continue being the shit disturber he is. Uh, the thing has only gotten one square closer? Yep. Okay. Uh, I'm going to hit it with uh, Slayer's Prey, which is an additional D6 on the first attack. Okay. And uh, we're going to... I do not have advantage this time unless it's, like, granting me advantage somehow. Uh, as far as I can tell, no. You're not getting any advantage. Okay. I did have to double-check if crits were automatic hits for this edition, and they are. Okay. So with that little tidbit of knowledge... <laughs> Oh, I'm just saying that, like, if you lost all your weapons, you had to go up and punch it. Could you still hit it? Okay. First attack. Your first attack, the arrow shatters against its uh, exoskeleton. And that one there, the bolt does pierce it. And uh, 17 points of damage. Yep. It seems to, if it had eyes, you would feel like it was staring at you. I don't give a fuck. Come at me, you sack of turd burglar. All right, that's it. Yep. Do you move or do you stay still? I'm no, no, no. probably going to move, yeah. Okay. Then there's X. I have an idea. Another bad one. Of course it is. Do it. Yeah, I'm going to cast Blur on myself <laughs> and then uh, start moving forward. You're casting Blur? All right. You try to cast Blur and it fails as Oof. you feel that your spell has been countered. I'm sorry. What? This thing Worrying. has counter spell abilities? <laughs> yes, it does. Oh, that's disgusting. And that might. <clears throat> I'm going to uh, then move up. Just directly up another uh, 40 feet, then in turn. So you're just flying straight up 40 feet? Yes, so I'm now 100, 100 feet in the air again. All right. And it is going to move again. And let's see. On the effect. And it is going to cast Blur on itself. Uh, 
Oh no, um, where does the mountain go? <laughs> well, it's more like the mountain is like shifting rapidly and it's a little dizzying. Dusk. This is meant to be a fight for your lives, an actual one, unlike the crab one, which was just supposed to be a distraction. <laughs> Dusk. I'm thinking. <laughs> Normally I hear an okay. I will move up one spot. It's only 15 feet. Yes. One 15 feet and then moonbeam. Can this go to a higher level? Hold on a second. Uh, should be able to. You might not have. You might have not have the ability to do it. Uh, in roll twenty, if you didn't. No, I'm just checking. I I do have an ability to do it. I'm just checking to see what effect it has. Well, I meant like if you didn't set it up to to do it when you click it. Because I believe you have to put it into the higher level thing, and it does its thing. Uh, fourth level. Fourth level. And I will place it 120 feet. Let's see. All right. Uh, here. All right. You're either going to do that at fourth level. Uh, how big is that? That's. Let's see here. Five foot radius, 40 foot tall. <clears throat> it needs to make a constitution saving throw for half damage. Hang on, I'm seeing what I gotta... I gotta roll for this. This is an ability check. Oh, using my... Okay. Constitution nope. save. Nope, not that. It's going to try to counterspell. How fails. many spells can it cast in one day? Uh, not in day, in, in a round. Uh, As a reaction, it casts Counterspell. On its turn, it casts Counterspell? Well, it, yeah, it had turns. So it, it had, yeah, it had, more than it had one its, reaction. It had its turn already, though, so... Oh, okay. Yeah, because the oh, so. other one was on uh, Xerzix's turn. But it does fail, so this is a con save, you said? Yes, con saves. Con saves. Yeah, dollars, dollars to donuts. This prick can't make uh, deck saves to save its life. It makes it save, so it takes half damage. Half damage, which is the 17 and the 16. All right. So 16. Uh, and then she takes another step, uh, another. 15 spaces back or up. Back and up. Back and up, okay. Todak. Yay. The begin At the beginning of Todak's turn, I will give him um, an extra movement. Cool. Which way do you he move me? He has to be within 60 feet, right? I guess. You don't have to move. I am giving you the ability to move an additional allotment. It's according to what I'm reading here, you, you choose whether or not you want to move. You yeah. are just allowed to move. I'll move. So you can go where you want to. Yeah, you uh, get... Todek, Todek has to stay on the ground, so... You can... Well, she'll just yell to you to come to me and I'll pick you up. That works. Yep. Todek starts moving this way. And then it's Todek turn. Todak's going to do the same thing. Uh, we're going to use Lightning Arrow this time. Okay. All right. Concentration up to a minute. Okay. So then I shoot him. Forgot to do a thing last time, but that's okay. Go ahead and... Uh, it's only on the first uh, attack. Six. Next time you make an attack during the spell duration. Yeah, so it's the next attack. So this first attack is going to be the Lightning Arrow. Yeah. 
Okay, go ahead and roll. Oh. The arrow. So, huh? that's it. So I have to, the next time you make a ranged attack, weapon attack, so I have to hit the target. Uh, Make the attack as normal. The target takes on a hit or half as much on a miss. So, okay. you miss. Go ahead and roll the damage. It makes a dex save, right? Uh, is it a dex save? Each creature within 10 feet must make a dexterity saving throw. I don't understand how this creature can be so large and require a 30-something to hit it. It doesn't require a 30-something to hit it. Well, you need to, you need to hit. It's probably somewhere around 24, 25, and it's a representation of its how thick the hide is. Yeah. Not how okay. hard it is. It, 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 okay. When you hit, it, the shit just bounces off. Yep. It fails the deck save. Cool. So, so it's going to take half of 4d8. So, well, it's 4d8, and then it's another 2d8. Because of because of its size, I'm counting that the uh, each other creature. So yeah, roll forty eight. I thought you said sixty eight. Well, no, you missed, but it failed its deck save, so that's forty eight. Unless you cast that at a higher level. Nope, twenty three. All right. And go ahead and do your other attack. Just a regular magical attack. Miss. That one just seems to go through its legs. It raises it up. Very, very slow. Alright, that's your turn. Yep. They're thick. Eight feet up, eight feet forward. Okay, go ahead and move. I feel like I need to... Okay, I think you're fine there. Go ahead and do, a, or was that a double movement? Dash, yes. Okay, that's your turn then? Yep. Alright, I forgot to do a thing on its turn last time. I won't forget this time. Uh, can't do this. Uh, it's going to cast Ray of Sickness on you. On me? Yes. Okay. Okay, what uh, that requires a uh, constitution. Yep. Okay, I take the 15. Wait, I'm immune to poison. Oh, you're immune to poison. Well, it doesn't know that. It does okay. now. On your t on its turn for its, it's bonus it's action. Turn. It, it, I believe it needs to take more damage from. Oh, yeah, that's right. And it has to do the save again, right? Yeah. Okay, that is a con save. Fail. Uh, it actually failed. failed this time. Go ahead and roll the damage. It's 4d10. Wow. Yes, yeah, pretty sad. All right, but uh, the bonus is its turn. You are within 40 feet of it. I'm oh, sorry, 60 feet. Either way, you're within range. Go ahead How and... Did it, move? it has a bonus action. It moved. It didn't move. Was it bonus action? No, it didn't move. Okay. Ow. All right, and you are... Sent. Flying 40 feet away. Which doesn't really translate in this one because, again, 15 feet, but. About two squares. And it will do its move. I'm going to have the damage with my uh, ability, spectral body, and then uh, I guess that's all I can do. Alright. And Dusk. I will guardian of faith. Okay. 
facing it. Uh, let's see. Ah, damn it. Here. All right, and um, it is a it needs to make a dexterity. Yeah, dexterity okay. saving throw. It needs a. Yep. Half... It takes half damage. It does take so half 10 damage. Points, Ten points of radiant. And I will move to here. Grab Todak. Basically throw him up onto my shoulder. And then move back 15. How high in the air were you when you... Uh, 10 feet, something like that. Okay. All right, then Todak, it's your turn. Okay. So Dusk has picked me up. Yes. What can I still do? I'm a small creature, so I can actually do this without too much issue, right? Believe. Uh, but before you go, I'm going to do um, Expedious Retreat, uh, Expedious thing again, but I'm going to use it on myself and move myself and Todak back two squares. Actually, you're pretty much sharing a square now, so. Okay. So, all right. So I'm just going to assume I can make attacks normally. Yes. All right. Reaver and Reaver. First one hits. You have Probably disadvantage because it's using blur. Okay. So nothing hits. Nothing hits. How long does blur, blur last again? Up to a minute, okay. Is it concentration? That's right, I do have to roll a concentration. That Twice. is... Failed on the first one. It did, so... Yep, your first attack does hit. Excellent. And then 2d6. So, hold on, I forgot to do this earlier. Hunter sends. Immediately learn whether the creature has any damage immunities, resistances, or vulnerabilities, and what they are. All right. So you learn its resistances and immunities. Uh, it is immune to non-magical weapons and fire. Being dazed and stunned... And it's resistant to radiant. Okay. Todak relays his information to Dusk as he knocks his next volley. Yes. Okay. What's its weaknesses or vulnerabilities? It doesn't have any. Uh, do you, you yell out that information? Yes. Oh. <laughs> there goes my plan. What were you going to do? <laughs> Guard well! <laughs> uh, I forgot about guard whale. All right. I was going to become the guard whale and fall on him. I mean, rule. Jeremy Crawford said that uh, falling damage is technically not bludgeoning damage, so barbarians don't get resistant to that. So, just be how you rule it. I'm a magical creature. Am I falling on him doing uh, whatever? I'm going to just scrap that idea. <laughs> All right, is that your turn, Todak? Yep. There's X. Well, guard whale was bust, but I'm still going to uh, fly forward. Uh, maybe. Yeah, take it. For the record, you can share a square with it because it is that massive. Oh, I know. I also just found out that there's a climbing onto a larger creature action. Yeah. Technically, if I'm climbing on this creature, I get advantage on all, all on all my attacks against it. 
Yeah, because it dropped and it also dropped its blur, so. But I can't reach it yet, so. Did I get rid of that other? I didn't. Let's see if it's going to mark out how far away I'm out from it again. Yeah, I'm going to uh, cast Spirit Guardians on myself. Okay. Does it uh, counter spell? Uh, oh, no, it doesn't. Okay, then I have Spirit Guardians on myself, and I'm going to fly forward. So it should be within uh, range. And it is a... Wisdom. It is a wisdom. Are you? It, you are. It's, uh, it's necrotic, isn't it? It's no. It's radiant damage because it's more or less. Uh, I'm stealing dusks. Uh, uh, guardian spirits. Spirit guardians. So I think it has resistance to this. Well, it's, it depends on your alignment, not. Uh... I'm uh, neutral, so it's neutral or good. So, like I said, it's stealing dusks. Okay. Uh then it, you said it's a wisdom save. Wow. All right. Yes. Which means the speed is reduced to half. Okay. That's 13 radiant, which it resists, and with that, I am a turn. Yeah, the key factor in there will be that it's reducing its movement by half as well. Yeah. Well, it's a do it's gonna do a thing. It's its only uh, it's, it's, it can only do this once, and it's its only ranged, real range thing. Dodak and Dusk. It is throwing chain lightning at you. All right. Um, do I even get to make a deck save? Uh, yeah. Oh, of course. And you both fail. As lightning shoots out from this thing, and actually, 100 and it should be within range. Yep, you guys are just within range. Otherwise, it would have went to zero six. Yeah, but lightning shoots out of this thing, and you both get zapped with a powerful 44. And I've got to do the <laughs> con save for both, right? Or con and wisdom. Um, dexterity for this, the guardian, and cons and wisdom for the other one. I oh, think. wisdom. Uh, Hold on. Let me check. Uh, Mon is. Constitution, yes. Yep. So he fails the uh, the fails the deck. Half but he damage. The con. Okay. Go ahead and roll the so damage. So he takes fifteen from that, the, and that's the moonbeam. The, the guardian, yeah. The, the the guardian only does a set amount of damage. So it's if he failed, he takes twenty minus half, so ten. And that means it's effectively done 15 points of damage. Once it's done a, a certain amount of damage, then it dissipates. Uh, let's see here. So it's done 15 so far. That was the moon beam or the that test deal the damage? Earth uh, the, the the guardians of faith. Moonbeam did thirty, and the guardian of faith did yeah. ten, but it's resistant so five. Oh no, I'm sorry, it failed that saving throw. Yeah, this time it failed. Hold on. So he saved on the thirty, so that's fifteen. Um, Oops. and then half of that. So he, yeah, the, uh, the first uh, Guardian, I believe, it failed as well. 
the 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 guardian it failed. Oh no, it passed the first one. It passed the first one. Takes ten points of damage. Which was reduced to five, so yeah, it is fifteen. Uh, no 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 uh, um because it failed its dexterity, it's twenty points of damage. Yeah, that this time. I meant the first it's time. Out. Right. The first time. Yes. Correct. Five. All right, that is its turn. Dusk. Um. Bonus, actually, how close? How far away is that? Thirty feet. Shit. You're way too far away. I'm going to move us back. To... Actually, we're at 150 feet, so we're going to stay right where we are. All right. And I'm going to go up. Ten, uh, back up to 10 feet high, and then fire the bow. Missed. Fire the bow, and again... Bolt shatters. Anything else? I, I will activate. I mean, I think I need this as a. I think this requires a bonus action to do this. No, it's an action. Never mind. Yeah, I'm good. All right, Todek. Uh, can we tell how much damage we've done at, if at all, to this creature? Uh, it's hard to tell. Probably nothing. No, uh, say nothing. You guys have Dust no does tell you that. Dust does tell you, Jodak, that I am crippled on this fight. If it's resistant to radiant, then I can't really hurt him. So I'm just gonna be I'm just gonna try to keep him away from this. Fly over top of it and drop the Todak. God. Uh, but in this time, Todak is just going to shoot at it. Probably nothing. Uh, unfortunately, no. Your arrows yeah. are just bouncing off of its uh, hide. Bomb this creature with Todak. I demand this. <laughs> All right. You have a barrel, don't you? Pardon? You have a barrel, don't you? I do not have a barrel. We went to. I think we uh, uh, I did that. I think they mean explosive. Uh, I do have one gunpowder barrel. I thought the last one he used was to blow up the mountain. Well, it's still you walking towards me, so I guess it didn't home. work. It doesn't mean you get it back. No, is it? We, when we went back home, we bought another one because it's. Oh, yeah, I think he did. Because Todak and explosives tend to go really well together. Apparently. Anything else? I'm good. All right, Zerzix. All right, I'm going to move four feet forward. And then, can I make the climb onto, onto a larger creature action? Uh. That would basically be a grapple attempt. But instead of it being against its uh, choosing athletics or acrobatics, it's, it's acrobatics only. Uh, I did uh, I put the uh, action in Discord if you want to look it up. The thing's a, a proverbial mountain. Uh, honestly, this, this is, I think, technically a temporary, uh, an optional rule. So it'd be up to you if you want to take this. Uh, it is an optional rule. Let me just uh, take a look here. Strictly speaking, it doesn't make sense that you wouldn't be able to let it up if the thing is as big as. It. Well, yeah, I can stand on it, but I'm asking about this rule because, frankly, if if you allow it, then it would basically have a hard hard time getting me off of it, and I would be able to make attacks on it at an advantage. Um... Otherwise, we can just uh, consider the creature train itself, and then I'll just land on and start punching. I mean, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead and roll. 
You have the option to do athletics or acrobatics, and it only has the option to do acrobatics. Okay. Which is just a straight dex. There was no way it was going to be able to beat you. Yeah. So now I'm climbed onto it. That was a... That was an action. Would that, would, would that be my whole action, or would that count as a grapple action? Uh, do so Because I can... If it's a grapple action, then that takes place as one of my multi-attacks. So then I still have another attack against it, but that's up to you. That is true, because, yeah, it is just a grapple, so... Go okay, ahead. then I'll... I'll make my second attack on it. Just punch it. I'm like sort of uh I'm grabbed onto where it's uh the vents are at the top. Do I probably miss? You do miss. I checked All your right. guys's two hits when I was figuring this thing out. <laughs> I was expecting way more hits. And then uh let's see. It's ace it... I, I will I will let you guys know when I was first doing it, it's like ah 27 seems to be fair for its AC. It's like, no, that's going to be way too mean. I have to lower that. Yeah, I think only Todak can really do that. <sighs> no, you guys all could have. Yeah. If, if I roll an 18, yeah. yeah. Uh, bonus action, I'm going to uh, healing word myself. Okay. Does it get uh, countered? Uh, that's that's the wrong that was, yeah, yeah, that was the wrong one. Yeah, that's the wrong one. Uh, no, it's not going to counter it. Woo! You get eight health. End turn. All right, it is its turn. Spirit Guardians. Yeah, and everything else. So yours is... Wisdom save. So go Wisdom, Con, Dex. Uh, just succeed, so he takes half this. And it's no longer affected by the half movement. Actually, I actually think just being in the aura is half movement. Five. So he takes four damage from Radiant. So. Four. Twelve from the Moonbeam. Twenty from the. Ten. Guardian. That was, yeah, ten. 10, 12, and 9. 31. All right. Well, it's finally going to be able to move up a square because it did technically move. It's just I couldn't actually physically move it. It made progress. And can't do that. So it's going to resort to using a firestorm against dusk. And of course it misses as it shoots out what seems to be balls of fire or molten liquid that just scatter around you and fall. Jizzed on her. Oh, it's a... Using all my strength to like wrench it to the side. It was more like it did a shotgun sort of blast. Dusk. I will move up 60 feet. All right. So how high are you now? Seventy eighty. Seventy or eighty? Take an eighty. Okay. Good to keep track of that. All right, and that's your turn. That's uh, uh, uh that's movement and dash action. Yep, just making sure if you didn't have any bonus actions you wanted to do. No deck. Uh, I will cast sanctuary on myself. Can I still fire out of that if I'm oh. on your back? 
sanctuary is, it, it doesn't affect you. Just okay. it, if anybody that tries to attack me has to make the wisdom saving throw or pick someone else. I can live with that. All right. Yeah, Todak. I'm running out of things to do to this critter, but we're going to keep shooting at it. Right. I don't think you have advantage, so give me another 2d6. There you go. So your first attack goes wide over it, and your second attack pierces through, and molten stuff starts to pour out of it. In true stuff. to a Becky fashion. Interesting. 2d6. It still looks like it's barely done. It's barely hurt. Uh, of course it does. Anything else? Nope. That's all I can do. And Xerxix. I have another stupid idea. Oh, God. I want to try climbing in this thing. In? For punching out its lungs. Oh, God. Uh, for now, I'm just going to just uh, attack it normally. To be fair, that's what Todek was going to do. Yeah, I'm going to do two attacks. Not one, and then dirty, uh, 25. Actually, no, 22 have, and 25. Yeah, you do have advantage. Your first attack, unfortunately, does not hit, but your second attack does as it seems to crack uh. its shell. Yes. Then we go. And let's see, bonus action. I'm just going to use my last uh, level one spell to uh, healing word myself. Okay. Go ahead. And go ahead. Climb inside. Next turn. All right, it's got to do its saves. Yep, uh, first uh, Spirit Guardians, which it, it succeeds. Everything except for the uh, Dex one. Three for the Spirit Guardians. Ten for the Moon. Uh, it so five for the yep and ten for the guard all right it is going to continue to move at half speed and what should it do you know what uh, what's the range on this thing? Hopefully not a fuck of a lot. Unfortunately, no. I deliberately gave this thing a shit range. But, uh... Oh, we're gonna find out if this'll work. Teal'c, this is being cast on you. Or Xerzix. Okay. Cause fear, so that's wisdom. That's the 20. Fail. You do fail. And that is its turn. So we're moving on to dusk. God, I think I have something I can capture. Uh, Wait, I'm undead. I'm immune. Oh, that's right. You do count as undead. Again, it didn't know. Woo! Actually, does your summon count as an undead or construct? Aberration. So it's not immune. Okay, then yeah, that works. 
just is good. Yeah, so all you do is get uh, disadvantage, so it bounces out. Yeah, go ahead. Thirty feet. So thirty feet up. No, straight forward. Okay. How tall is this? Uh, it's about as tall as it is wide. So. Uh, sorry, I, I can't get above it. It's going to take forever. 210 feet tall. Uh, yeah. So... Thirty feet forward. Cash thirty feet. Forward. Sixty feet. Turn that shit. Right. Any bonus action? Yeah, sanctuary. Okay. Lasts a minute, doesn't it? Sanctuary? Yeah, it lasts no, a minute. It's just one. Duration of oh, a minute. Yeah. Oh, that's cast unless I attack, right? Something like that. Uh let's see. So If the warded creature makes an attack, casts a spell that affects an enemy creature, or deals damage to another creature, the spell ends. So, if you attack or deal damage to other, th other things. Now, the spells that I have in effect, I cast before I cast the Sanctuary, so I assume that those don't count? I would rule them as not counting. Because the now continuous effects that are dealing to damage and... While technically yours, it's not something you did that turn. Sweet. Uh, yes, that's action and bonus actions. Uh, movement, action, and I don't have a bonus action. All right. Todak, you're getting closer. Cool. Todak's, the start of Todak's turn, I will give myself the expedious thing there to move another turn. Okay, I'm going to use my bonus action to cast... Uh, healing spirit on myself, just having it hang out with me. Okay. You did take so, damage anyway, so it will heal you. Yep. And then just shoot it some more. Alright, well, go ahead and... Nope. Unfortunately, no. And then I get one. a D6 healing? I thought they moved it up to D8, but they... No, it's still only D6 in this, but Okay. If you t if you tell me it's a D eight, I'll be happy. But Let me double check. So both of us get it because we're sharing the spot. Uh, it only happens on my turn. Yeah, it only happens on your turn. It is still a D six. So. Okay, so it's only four points of healing. Yep. Okay. All right. Actually, I do have a bonus action. I think. Sorry. At this point, it's too late. No, now. it's not. A, it's not a bonus action. It's an actual action. Okay, that's why I haven't done it yet. There's X. Fear. Oh, shut up, you big baby, and punch it. So I cannot get closer to it, <laughs> but I have disadvantage on two attacks. But I have advantage because I'm climbing on it, so I'm going to just make straight punches. Yes, you're making straight punches, and you do get to uh... fail, fail, and then I get to redo the thing. Yep. Oh, I'm going to. Uh... Second level healing word in turn. Nope. Still scared. But can't you silvery barb set? Not on myself. Well, yeah, it's only when it succeeds. Oh, it's it's uh no oh, yeah it's only when it succeeds. All right. So yeah, it is still afraid. Or you're still afraid. Half of you. It is the Titan's turn. And it is now going to do its saves. It 
Only passes the wisdom. Two damage, radiant. Ten from the. Yep, ten from the Guardian. other one, and then uh, twelve from the other one. Twelve. All right, and well, you're within range now. I'm gonna need you, both you and Todek, uh, to make deck saves. Kodak does pass. Is it is it an attack? It is an it's a uh breath attack. It needs to make a wisdom saving throw. Well, breath is not targeting you directly, it's a specific oh, weapon. Right. Okay. Well wait, wait, wait. Oh. And you fail. And that damn. Oh, you're you're down, and you were eighty feet. I'm dead. I'm down, and yes, eighty feet up. All right. Okay. So that will be falling damage. Now, I need to ask. Yep. That creature's turn ends, and on its turn, dusk falls. Dusk's turn is skipped, and it goes immediately to Todak. That would be the case, yes, but you're still, Strictly still speaking, falling. Strictly you and I fall at the same time. Yeah. Okay, see, that's what I'm getting at. Because yeah. if you fall at the same time, you still have a rate of falling, right? It's Are you going around, to... I believe. Oh, is it actually yeah, 100 yeah. feet around? I'm double-checking. Once it avoids the damage... 10 feet, so that would be 86. Just double checking if it is 100 feet. Because if I get any kind of reaction or bonus action before we hit the ground, I have a thing we can do. Apparently, per Xanathar's, falling is 500 feet around. Uh, 500 feet around. Jesus Christ. So I was wrong. Yeah. Sense. That makes sense. Yeah. So you would not be able to get a chance. Well, you still have a chance to do a reaction. It well, does. The thing is, if it happens yeah. immediately on this creature's turn, no, I don't have a. I don't think I can do it. Well, if you have the ability to do a reaction, then you have the ability to do a reaction. No. Then unfortunately, no. Yeah, sadly, I have feather fall, but I'm too far away. All right, so it's eight d six. For damage. Well, since they're already out, the, it, it's a uh, death save. Doesn't matter. Todak takes an 86, yeah. I get death saves. Yeah, but you also don't, because bullshit thing that I allow you to get. <laughs> right. No, I still get death saves. So, okay, so hold on a second here. I think we're both dead, because I'm taking half of 43 plus 32. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so I'm down. You're down. Oh, shit. What the fuck did you expect? <laughs> I thought you had more health. You literally hit me with some... Hold on a second here. If I go back and look at this fight, you're going to tell um... me you didn't believe I was below half health with the damage that I've taken thus far? Yeah. Well, he's from the first hit. Yep. Well, you passed Another... it, didn't you? 20, so that's 60 something from the second hit. Yeah, and, and I was already at 42. 30. Well, again, so I that's you passed 90. One, but... Anyway, it, it's, irre it's irrelevant. It, yes. the, the amount of damage was designed to do this much damage. It's done this much damage. We're both down. Yes. All right, then we're straight to Xerxix. Uh,. You, unfortunately, are inside and cannot see this. I'm not inside. Not inside. I'm just sitting on the uh, outside of it. Um, you probably still couldn't see us because we're, you're on top of it. We're underneath it. I mean, 
mean, maybe on top of it, but it's his, massive. He, yeah, but his view is not it's absurd. Massive. Yes, That's it true. is. He, well, trust yeah, he's, he's, he's that he's far up, and we just hit the ground. He cannot see us from that from where we are. I'm not like right here up. on the bridge of the nose thing here, so I can see you. Yeah, his view is not obscured from where he told me he was. His view is not obscured. <laughs> he can actively see you guys. He might not be able to make it to you, but he can actively see you. Let's see, I'm going to... Uh, let's see. I need to look at all my spells. <laughs> yeah, I can... Uh... Okay, first things first, I'm going to cast uh, Bonus Action Misty Step. So okay. that gets me 30 feet that way. Damn it. I'm then going to move another 30. I'm then going to allow myself to fall down 180 and then land a 175, whatever, and then hopefully still have my movement. So you're uh, going to take the 17D. No, uh, I'm falling down. Uh, I am 180 in the air. I'm going to f uh, fall down. Oh, that's right, because you 175. Hit the ground. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so I still have movement. So I'm going to still be hovering on the ground, if you allow that. Yeah, I mean, if you stop, if you can turn that on and off, it will. Then yeah, absolutely. Okay, then the it's the same thing in Timo's game before, and that that worked out very well for us. <laughs> I I was two feet in the air. I was the only one in combat. I was like goodbye, and it just fell. And, uh, okay, that, that's, let's see, I'm within, no, I'm not, I'm so far Action. away. Uh, Shit. Uh, I'm going to go here, that's another, I'm going to dash, well, actually, that'll be my, yeah, dash would be required to get to them. Let's... Should still have a bonus action. Guardian of Faith is still oh. up, by the way. Sorry, I didn't realize. That's still up Wait. because it's not a concentration spell. Yeah. Uh, no, I actually use my uh, bonus action to uh, misty step to get yeah, even closer, right. so I can't actually grab you guys. Uh, so with, uh, with that, I'm going to just let's see. Here. Okay, I guess that's right. Chodak has to make his death save. Oh. All right, yeah, I'm gonna... making my death save or what? Uh, get that on my movement, then end turn. Plug Nor for that time. All right, on its turn, it sees that you're running away, and you two are down. And wait a minute, hold on a second here. How much damage did I actually suffer? Uh, from the falling, you did thirty-two. Okay. And then so I have a problem. Yep. Because the spell itself knocks me to zero. The fall damage is double my constitution. Not no, yet. just one death save. It, it has to be double your health. It has to, it's no. It doesn't have to be double your health. It has to be enough to kill uh, enough to do your entire hit points. Yeah. Whatever your total health is, it has to do that much in order for it to be permanent uh, instant death. Yeah. So you're you're not. So dead. You if just, you're at zero. Yeah. It yeah. Didn't it didn't automatically kill you? Yeah, it didn't. You're still alive. You just took a. You're at one death save basically. Okay. But this thing. Now that you, Tilk, has run away from it and stopped attacking it, it seems to lower itself to the ground. And as you see on that picture, its maw starts to open and starts sucking up the stuff from the ground and just ignoring you now. <sighs> I know that feels like a cop out, but it is it's a not. It's, it's not. terraforming. <laughs> This is probably it. worse. It, it also takes an extra. It still needs to make a saving throw versus the uh, dexterity. And I can tell it's going to fail because it has a minus two. <laughs> That's still another ten points of damage to it. Yep. All 
All right. Then Todak. I stabilize. Yeah, you stabilize. But I'm unconscious. And Todak, make your save. I think he still needs to make one death save for his last turn. I nope. said I'm going to uh, ignore that. Okay. No, well, okay. So hold on a second here. I get one failed save because of that roll. Yeah. I take... I get another failed save because I was hit already unconscious. Yeah. So I have two failures currently yeah. on my docket. Yes. And it and is... And I said we're going to ignore it because we forgot about it, so I'm not going to... Yeah, no. No, we're going to roll it. All right. Todak's dead. Todak is double dead because two, a natural one is a double fail. Don't worry. I have a plan. Oh, no. I built my character for this. I know you did. I forgot about it. So you said I have a plan. I'm actually, I'm actually so happy you're dead. Yes. <laughs> you prick. Oh, no, no, no. This has happened before. Remember your old, your other character, the priest elf? Oh, no. I'm doing it again. You bastard. <laughs> All right, so it's my turn. It is your turn. <laughs> okay. Uh, healing word, uh, dusk. Action, grab both them, and then running away. All right. It's not chasing you. Okay. As far well, as it's concerned, it wants you guys alive for what's going to happen, so it figured... Yeah, so... Heal. Yeah, I'm going to... Uh, let's see what uh, level I think it's... Speaking, I can Yeah, move second that. level. You can do what there, Dusk? I can revive him. You have a revivify? Yes, I do. And oh. I have the gem necessary for it. Okay. Don't worry. Don't worry. Uh, <laughs> once we get uh, once we get within a, a distance away, with uh, dust, you're basically uh, blinking to exist awake. Uh, you see that uh, Todek is dead. I land us like far away from the creature, just uh, dashing. The... I have to do it quickly, or otherwise I lose it. Because Riverfly has a time limit. What's the time? Yes. Limit? Uh, don't worry. This is all right. Uh, it's not his time yet, but it's mine. I'm casting Remembrance. Uh... I die. I die and cast Resurrection on you. <laughs> so this is what he made the character for. I told you I had a suicide move. This is literally what he made the character for was if one of you guys died. Okay. I need a pause here for a quick fucking <laughs> second. We have the means to do this without killing off your character. I'm going to say that it takes some, I think Resurrection is a higher level than Revivify, and we're probably going to be flying for more it than is. a minute. Um, so, yes. Once uh, we. Face, I couldn't not save him within a minute. I've got to do it, too. Like, I mean. Well, I mean. If, if you're going to pull that maneuver, you need to do it before I cast this spell. Yeah, because yeah, uh, if you it's... heal before you picked him up, then he has the ch or she has the chance to do it before you land. But uh, how long you. does Revivify cast? Uh, Revivify, yeah, it's an action. Really? One no, action? No, like, it's it's like Breath of Life, right? Hold on a second here. No, Revivify yeah. is, ah, is an action, yeah. If you want to do this, put us down and do it. But you do it before the minute is up. Well, you can. You're awake. You're able to do it while you'll, they're flying, so you can just cast it. He is a larger creature than you, so you have the ability to do actions. Oh, excuse me. I'm sorry. Oh yeah, you uh, you no, can revivify before do... you can revivify before no, he I'm lands. Double, uh, story wise, I, I like this better. I'm gonna let him do his thing, and then I'm gonna revivify him. Uh, All right, then. Once we, uh, he doesn't have a body. Yeah, it also says that once I do this, only wish can bring me back. Yeah, I die truly. So, so yeah, I... I'm go my uh, I grab you, I heal you, but uh, 
Todak's in one arm, you're in the other. I'm just squeezing you so you can't really reach Todak in time. And a minute passes, so Todak's dead, dead. But then uh, after we fly down, it's like, well, like I said, it's uh, not his time yet, but it is mine. At which point, Todak, you open your eyes. Well, actually, uh, as uh, Adele's hand rests on Todak's shoulder, everything seems to glow brightly. It's a uh, radiant light floods from her uh, her eyes and mouth. And Todak, you uh, awake. You're uh, wearing. A, you're wi- no, we're we've landed at this point, but uh, you're wearing uh, Adele's clothes, <coughs> including her wig. And you remember, you don't know why, but waking up in this surreal landscape, you rem- rem- you remember that time when you were a young elf. I dislike <laughs> it immediately. <laughs> You were so. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna. I'm still gonna double whammy this. <laughs> you're so uh, sure that. Oh, you're you were so smart that. Uh, we'll see that in a moment. But you were so sure that uh, you were smarter than everyone else, and thought that uh, putting a, a bag of holding into another one would not uh, would give you so much uh, knowledge and experience, and then you ended up in the uh, the astral sea for. You don't know how long, thousands of years. You saw things that you cannot un, you cannot not, you cannot forget. And yet you did. And then by the time you were finally wrenched back into the real world, not much time passed, but it seems everyone forgot you. Your name was never Tilkadel, but that's what you started calling yourself afterwards. I mean, everyone forgotten you, and you, you remember having the knowledge of God. Not no. no an understanding of everything. You did everything you could to craft a, your magnum opus, the ties that bind. But then that knowledge faded as well. Fuck kind of crack cocaine trip was I on? At which point you then cough up and then Adele's eye was in your mouth. But yes, now <laughs> they artists want to draw Todak in a wig. Because <laughs> he is uh, wearing Adele's clothes currently. After all that is done, Dusk used divine intervention, and one whether one's once a form of Adele that dissipated into stardust, Adele re fucking forms. For fuck's sake! This is the best real living circle jerk I've ever seen. <laughs> really is. So. so. Before we actually say this is canonically cool, Remembrance brings one person back. But Divine Intervention acts as if it's a wish spell? Divine Intervention basically allows the god to do whatever cleric spell they want. It wants. I was a lost cause, and they brought me back. as whatever the god wants. I mean, if the god doesn't want to bring you back, then it's, it's up to the god. But whatever he sees fit in the moment. So I'll, I'll leave that up to you. I kind of like the idea of the reviving circle jerk. So yeah, Adele is back. Huh, I was over there. And then I forgot what happened. And now I'm over here. And why am I naked? <laughs> why does Todek have this stuff on his head? Give me back my wig. <laughs> oh, good. It's not attached. I take off the wig, I put it back on, try uh, to like straighten it out. Strictly come speak, with my fingers. Strictly, uh, you may actually be your normal elf self now. By the way. <laughs> oh no, that's worse. No, <laughs> I can <do> good. <laughs> yeah, I think you're. The uh, when you get brought, last, yeah, I could bring you back as a, a nor- as your normal elf. You get fully restored. Great. That is terrible. That's hilarious. Now you have a naked uh, elf in front of you. You could ask. You, you could have a conversation with the spirit. I mean, it's not like the god can't go to right where her her soul is and say, "Hey, you know, uh, on the world, but uh, what do you think? What's your call?" Oh, I know I it mean, could. You rolled the but thing, this is, so this yeah. Is hilarious. Fine with being brought back, but I'd rather still be dead, personally. <laughs> I mean, I could make things interesting and bring back Auntie Karen. 
Uh, no, I had already discussed that with Ken. Ken said that he was not and didn't want to do that. So it's the only reason I, mean, I haven't done it yet. Now would be a good time for that. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm I'm fine either way, actually. This is this is funny. All right. Oh no no wait. <laughs> you wished for, that your elf friend was back. You pray and pray and what Brought you think is back. Adele It's Anna Karen, yay, she's back. <laughs> You know, I could roll a d6 on a one and two. That's Ani Karen. Dude, you could just do whatever the hell you want I know, at this point. You but I will. Both back. Neither of them back. Yeah, this is, this is funny. That's right, I could do whatever I want. Bring them, you could bring them back in, in a form that they wasn't even there. So pick something. You can do whatever the hell you want. It's rather than a, a straight up wish. Hey, Auntie, like, an Auntie Karen bandage lady hybrid. Could be a small diamond golem for all we know. It doesn't. I mean, it's the god's choice, really. No, oh, because it is there. Because they would be using the wish spell. So yeah. So, in front of you, is a bandaged being, and behind Todak is a naked elf. Why there's so much nudity now? Uh, the bandage being has the shape of Auntie Karen. Let's get out of here. We can explain it later. We need to move. <sighs> Todak is not drunk enough for this. Welcome back. Can I please have, have some uh, clothes now? Um, is Todak still yeah. wearing bandages? I'll dig yeah. out a set. I only have one set of common clothes, but she pulls it out of her pack and hands it to one of the naked people. Well, Auntie Karen wouldn't be naked. They still have all their items. So this is, is it, actually happening. Is, is, it actually Karen, happening? is Auntie Karen the one wearing the bandages? Yeah. Is she otherwise just, normal? Otherwise normal, just wearing bandages now. <laughs> oh, here, dearie. Uh, here, wear this. It'll keep you warm. At which point, Auntie Karen takes out the flayed skin of some aberration. Oh, dear gods. <laughs> ah, lovely. Adele doesn't care. We need to go someplace safe so, so I can heal us up. Yes, and tell me what's going on. <laughs> she just here. <laughs> Why is she, she naked? I've gone for, I don't know, several years, and you replaced me with this elf? <laughs> been yes. a number of months. Yeah, but... it's only been months, but for Auntie Karen, it's been years. Oh, I just finished making up my home. It was so nice. It was made of a giant skull. <laughs> but you well, did say you found my brother. Yes. Bag. We... Bag. <laughs> I miss Auntie Your brother Karen. is safe. I'll point, uh, point out that Xerxix was just standing nearby this whole time. He's just, like, looking at what's going on, like, what? <laughs> no freedom. Urgh. Yes, yes, shut up. I'll <laughs> finally let you go, but no, they had to bring us, they had to bring you back. Now I'm fleshy. <laughs> uh -huh. While we're all sitting there discussing all of this good stuff, she is going to use her vitality aura to try and start healing us up. Oh, this went sideways in the best possible way. <laughs> I don't think this is sideways. I think this is just like flip table. I don't know. <laughs> this is amazing, though. No, yeah. No, blowing up the map was flipping the table. This is going sideways. <laughs> Yeah, sideways to like the table being on the wall and <laughs> trying to still play it. <laughs> like I have no idea what to do with uh, Adele now. Retire. Go back to studying. I mean, probably after this mission, but for now, she still has a job to do. We did. We can't. We can't hurt that thing. We're, we're, it, it is, we just unloaded on it, and we didn't even scratch it. This well, is not what we do is we stand 600 feet away from it and just have Todak Plink it to death.
Yeah, I don't, I don't know if that's even viable, really. I don't think it is. I mean, Todek was the only one besides uh, Xerzix to actually deal non-reduced damage. Right. I mean, I still did a lot of damage to it. Oh, you did, absolutely. <laughs> and... The only other idea would basically be continued pile drivers of metal golems. They are made of magic, so it works. We need to limp our way to a safe space and discuss this. We also need to do... I have to basically uh, rebuild this character and then yeah. I have to get Karen up to speed. Yep. And for those know, watching... For this, considering I'm probably going to retire Adele after this, can she still have all of her abilities and whatnot? Oh yeah, absolutely. The only thing that okay. uh, she got was she got her full body back. Still has her some residual residue from when she was dead, so she still has some of her abilities. Yeah. That's a neat trick. But yeah, for uh, for the people watching, uh, this is a building experience, and now I need to augment this thing a little bit. Thank her uh, patron for the help. Uh, and then send a message to our beholder friend to let him know that the guy we were supposed to kill is dead. Again. Again. But in killing him, it released a god in the form of a mountain that is now wandering around destroying shit. Um, and it has, if not for quick thinking of one of, all right, well, I, I can't say all that. So just the first part. Yeah. I only get 25 words. Yeah, I will allow you guys to bolt it all the way back. As the forest seems to become eerily quiet. You guys can make it within several days to the uh, edge of the forest again, where you entered in. Neat. I hate this place. I figured you would. You yeah, are greeted by the mages, good. and they look at you. Sorry, wait, what? We went back? Uh, I said that... Like, if, if that was your plan to head back, then yeah, you would make it to the edge of the forest. Unless I yeah, was misinterpreting? The border of... I mean, I don't know. We did, We need to discuss this. Whether or not we're going to keep trying, or we're going to, uh, you know, keep throwing rocks at this thing, or are we going to go well, back we, and report? As it is, I suppose a report would do well at this point, but we still haven't figured out where, what the problem is at the center of this place. All we know is that Herschel, or whatever the fuck his name is, got crushed and lightninged away in a ball of booger. Fucking Herschel. <laughs> it was Haggath. What? Crown Haggath? <laughs> yes, uh, we, uh, well, I turned him into a fish and then crushed him with a um, metal golem. Neato! <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Auntie Karen. Neato! <laughs> oh, I really did miss Auntie Karen. I love Teal, but... <laughs> It's good to see you again, that's Karen. I want a leech. Ah, didn't find name in that in well there, but uh, I have something as good, but uh, not now. Nevertheless, we need to decide what we're going to do. Onto Karen, we need to get you to your brother. Teal'c, we need to get you home. Grapprov, if you would like to stay and watch it, that's uh, up to you, but I would strongly recommend that we get back and let them know what a threat is that we're facing. Can we send a letter? I did. I already did, but... Did you just say Grapprov? He did. <laughs> so now there's a kobold with a sniper rifle nearby. Kodak, sorry. <laughs> I got very concerned. That's your yeah. That's your kobold, right? Yep. Yes, Grapprov is the kobold. 
I was like, That's, <laughs> he also went into space. Yeah. Yeah, he did. I mean, he found his way back eventually. Ideas? Or just head back? Ultimately, I got nothing. Then we head back. I don't right. know that we really have a, cho a choice in the matter, really. I don't know how to fight that thing. More explosives. Maybe. Well, Auntie Karen, do you have any means to fight a uh, mountain spider? What? Uh, well, just step on it. No, no, a spider the size of a mountain. Uh, no. <laughs> well, um, uh, well, like there, and the, uh, looking at the tear in the sky. When I was in there, I just sort of found something large and just started fighting onto the side of it, and that seemed to work for a while. Uh, that's unnerving, but uh, I don't think that's going to help. I just picture Auntie Karen just gnawing on the head of an astral dreadnought. That's the idea. The funny thing is, is Auntie Karen would love to eat this thing. I mean, it's made of rocks, so probably not. Still an aberration. Hmm. Dinner bits would be nice, but no. Also, it's probably something I should ask while I have. Does Auntie, Auntie Karen, like, level up her uh, transformation while she was in there? I'm going to say yes. With the amount of time that you've been in there, yeah, you would have the chance. You wouldn't have had the chance also, to do much else, but you would have leveled up to the yeah, current level. And... That's good. And a uh, question. Since uh, Adele died again, does her transformation go up? I guess technically, yeah. Okay, because, like I said, I'm probably going to retire her after this mission, so. Okay, that's good to know for right. now. Mm -hmm. But for lore's sake, yeah, that's cool. All right. Then, yeah, you guys, after several days of travel, you make it back to the uh, the border. Um, so we have some good news and we have some bad news. I don't like that, but go ahead with the good news. He sent us there to kill a particular person. That's been done. I see. Good. But it hasn't stopped yet, so I guess he was not the cause of this. Uh, turns out he was a seed of sorts, and in killing him, it unleashed some sort of god. I... Um... What? Yeah, we're playing with gods yeah. now. Yeah, uh, it's the size of a Tell us the name of his god, It eh? walks... Oh, Looks kind of like a giant crab with a mountain on its back. Yeah, you never got the name of the god. So, that's what the tremors were. Part of it, yeah. Uh, it nearly killed Todak and I, and it wasn't for quickly Tealik. Uh, we would debate. Yes. I decided to get out as quickly as possible. Todak, you had some information as to what it was resistant to and vulnerable to? That might be useful. I mean, we figured out that it was resistant to a lot of things, but not vulnerable to anything. It's just a baby. <laughs> no, yeah, a few people died, actually. I don't know if you remember that bit. But they open up the, uh, the barrier and allow you guys to step through. Wait. Why is there another person with you? Only three of you went in. Hello. Divine. Of course, Divine. Uh, the blessing of the glass 
was I, I needed to call on the class directly and it saw it fit to return her to us as well as Silk. Yes, we uh, found this lost cause. Hey. This whole situation is a lost cause, but all right. <sighs> the guy that we killed did say something about uh, reforming this world because this world is horrible. But I don't know to what extent or what that actually means. However, they did, and I thought sent a report on this. Uh, we did see a large number of squid face people wandering around out there. Oh, All so I, think, I think you need to uh, edit your gain on, edit your threshold on uh, the thing there, because you are breaking up a fuck ton. Sorry. Yeah, I think you just gotta edit Might the... be my... I think you just gotta lower the threshold. Edit what? I think you just the threshold, you gotta lower it a little bit. Weird, it was clear for me. Ah. Weird, it was breaking up for me, like, quite a bit. Almost like the threshold was uh, set too high. I don't know what that is. So, like, the uh, point that. to where it actually picks up any noise? Lower it. Okay, up. Uh, sometimes called the gate. Yeah, it's set for automatically. I'm kind of a tech dummy. Yeah, that was weird. All right. They look at you, it's like several important people have shown up. There is a small hut that was built while you guys were in there. I suggest you go make your report there. Thank you. They give you uh, directions to it. It's uh, about an hour's travel away from the border. Uh, keep trucking. You guys are heading to that hut, or are you just going to fuck off? Uh, I'm assuming that the group doesn't have any objections. We're heading to the hut. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right. You guys head to the hut, and before you enter, we will call this here. Cool. All right. That, uh, that uh, did not go the way I was fun. thinking, but hopefully you guys had fun. It was insane. <laughs> <laughs> the You're Not Dead Circle Jerk is probably going to go down in history as a, no, I'm going to make sure you all live. No, I will. <laughs> no, I will. And don't yeah, that's just laying fun. there like a, all righty, cool. All right. That was great, guys. I'm just, I'm glad that I got to, uh, to bring two people back with the use of that. But that uh, was, yeah, that's uh... nice. That was pretty. You great. know, that doesn't happen very often, by the way. So it, it count you guys lucky, because it uh, it certainly can... played out differently than I thought it would. Yep. But yeah, I yeah, hope everybody was... enjoyed. Yeah, it was definitely all fun. I'll definitely be back I, later. For a, all right. Yeah, for a moment there, I thought I was going to have to write up another character. To be totally Me honest. Me too. And I wasn't sure how I was going to do with that. Yeah, I already yeah, have I was struggling. Yeah. I have multiple backups. I three. don't. I don't. I, I'm thinking about it, but I don't have anything dreamed up. All right. Uh, I'll yeah, talk I, to all I, you guys I'll, later. Yep. All right. All right talk man. to everybody talk later. To later. Have a nice day. Stay safe. All right. That. Uh, yeah. No. That. Um. I wasn't expecting it to go that way. I was thinking that okay, this is kind of balance for the shit that you guys can pull. Apparently not. Uh Um. I don't. How did you calculate the AC? I mean, what were your what were your your thoughts. Size and material. Uh, 
Say that again. The, the size and the material that it's made out of. Okay. Yeah, it, you did oh, kept saying exoskeleton, so I kept thinking probably going inside that would probably be a good idea, but never actually was able to do it. Going I'm going inside to... would not have been a good idea. Yeah, also kind of assume that as well. That's why I was re ready with a uh, misty step. Yeah. Okay, I was on, uh, kind of leaning on the side of um, it might be a little too early for us to be fighting a god, so well, I didn't really expect that I was going to survive. Uh, I didn't think we were going to win that. I, I was pretty confident that we weren't going to. Well, here's the thing. Its longest range spell was Chain Lightning. Yeah, we... Everything Todak, was 60 feet or less. Todak can tag right, his solo this thing, so... Well, except should... for his firebolts, but... Yeah, Todak can solo this guy, so I think we should have been fine. We just got... We didn't know exactly what we were going into, and then I kept going t closer towards it, which was a bad idea. Everybody went closer towards it except for Todak. Yeah, if anything... Uh... No, Todak is the one that asked me to move him towards it, and I had to actually... I had to move closer to get him on top of it so that he could do his shit, but... I actually don't have much that can actually affect him. Well, my Punching thought was... Oh, yeah, I... My thought was one of two things. One, you guys will stay just outside of its range. It'll hit you with the chain lightning. It probably won't get its uh, cone attack back very often because it was on an 18 to 20, and it's like, that's very hard to get back. Apparently not. What was it, DC? Uh, the DC for that one, I believe I was using... 18. AC. Oh, it's AC? Oh, the AC, that was like 25, I think, on the creature, or 27? 23. 23? It was originally going to be 27. It's like, no, 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 that's that's not going to be fair. Yeah, so 18, 19, and 20 is, the, is what I would need to have to roll. I was taking a look at your stuff, and I thought some of your stuff could actually hit on that, but I think I might have been looking at your spells, too. Holy word, radiant damage with a plus nine, but radiant damage isn't going to do anything to it uh, aside from half damage. Nope. Um, but again, I thought I was looking at a regular attack and not a spell, so that's why I took that into consideration. Yeah, there's also the amount of, you also have to calculate how many hit points does the average player have and how much damage does the thing do on, per average per round. Honestly, besides uh, that, the uh, DC, the DC checks, attacks? the DC, yeah, the DC oh, checks were insanely high. Um, so it was nearly impossible to save against them. Well, the the, the thought too with it was it's going to go one of two ways. You guys are going to stay at a distance and attack it, so that way you can't really do anything. Or you're going yeah. to run away because this thing was meant to be a hard fight that you guys might be able to take on, but you'd be like, this thing is actually really tough. We should regroup. Yeah. I mean, I think had I, I mean, I, I have wings, so had I stayed back and he and I just pelted it, he would have run out of arrows long before he killed it. And we're not counting arrows, so. Uh, I would also, I think he has, like, he can summon arrows now. I think so. But either way, we're not counting arrows, so. Uh, well, I'm not sure how I feel about that. My bow doesn't use arrows, but then again, my bow would only do half damage. Yeah, I think I if we fought him now, arrows. if we fought him now, I think we'd basically steamroll him, because Todak would be 600 feet away shooting at him, and then I would be 500 feet in the air, just dropping golems on him. Yeah. Yeah, it's a... Uh, going in there, uh, as we were, we were unprepared. That was our biggest downfall, but I think now that we had time to think about it, 